much. This is my interview, by the way. Bye. Right. So, I'm sitting here, just trying to take everything in, but... There's an arrow missing. I had to think about it for a minute and make sure that actually happened. Because I was like sitting here. Or I was getting ready to climb up the stand. I climb up and I get maybe three steps up. And I look and there's a doe running around. She just like trotted away. She didn't really know what it was. And then I climb up here and I get my bow situated. I get it not arrow knocked and whatnot. I look back. There's a doe bedded looking the other way. And so I'm sorry. And so I'm sitting here and I'm like man that's kind of cool and then all of a sudden she starts coming to me and I look again and I put the binos up and I see a tree thrash and I don't know if I got that on video but and then I see the big rat coming so I grabbed my bow I got ready and got the video camera and came to about 10 yards right here and I made up my mind I was going to shoot him and then he came to maybe 18 yards I think is what it was when I shot him and quartering away hard and I threw it up in there and he came down 10 yards in front of the stand and ran off I could see my arrow down there and he died right here in the swamp maybe 100 yards that's freaking sweet though man now I haven't had a hunt like that in a while come to play I mean I was sitting in the sand for maybe 15 20 minutes before I shot one I feel like what he's been doing is he's had these does back up in here bedded for maybe a day or so or a couple of days. I don't know. And he's just been sitting with them. Um, but now nah, I just oh, wait or whatever. And there's actually a spike coming in right here. But I, I made up my mind and he came right here and I draw back or drew back and I zoomed in my camera a little bit and got it on him or where he's gonna go and I got him centered in the frame and just I mean you know when you have that like perfect shot I mean I just freaking pinwheel him I went in and about three quarters of the ribs back I went in and 
maybe maybe it was three ribs from the farthest rib back and I went in and it hit the opposite shoulder and just pile drive them I mean it freaking smoked them I'm pretty excited but I'm trying to just take everything in my papa's hunting so I don't know if I'm gonna go look at him he's like 700 yards away I don't know if I'm gonna go look at him if I'm just gonna wait here until dark I want to get good pictures but I also want to make sure I don't booger up my papa's hunt because he needs to shoot a deer I was coming up here to have an observation set by the way I was just gonna so they just cut this cornfield back behind me and I was thinking like man might as well come and look because we want to goose hunt and whatnot and we were seeing if they were gonna land in here and I actually saw some geese but and then I or I just saw geese like five minutes ago I've been sitting here for maybe an hour just trying to take everything in and whatnot but that yeah, was a hunt I'll remember probably but I was thinking about going with my papa tonight and just sit and video him. He had a little eight-pointer come by just a little too far away. I guess it wasn't small because he was going to shoot it, but. Just like 55 yards and he didn't want to take that shot, so he let it walk. I'm going to try to make up my mind. I don't have a bunch of battery left, so we'll be try to be smart with our battery usage all right we'll see you on the recovery there he is well we just found him dad came out here and we did our thing took a bunch of pictures and i'm pretty happy with him it's, it's, it's so, he's got, he's not wide by any means, he's pretty tall. And he's got like this weird, hang on, I'll just show you. So if you can see that, look at that, isn't that weird? And look at how his brow tines are like all pointed in. Yeah, there we go. How his brow tines are so pointed in one eye, it's pretty cool. And how his, his, his right side's pretty neat. Man, that's a big body deer, he's a pizza. And I don't know if YouTube will like this ring, but quartering away, perfect hit here. And I don't know if anybody will like that, but huge cut. I mean, that's a freaking giant cut. And then I'll flip them over real quick. Come on, bud. Hit. Exit, right? Felt it. It's like right here. That's a freaking hog of a deer, though. Jeez, oh, Pete. Look at this, though. I, I've shot a few deer like this, but never a buck. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? All the whites there. I mean, jeez, oh, Pete. The white. He's got white all over. All of his feet. I'm real happy with him. I think he might be... I don't know him old he is maybe four three but i mean if you look at his mass here for a second i can just barely fit my fingers around him and like up here he's still it's like still pretty i mean his long, nose is pretty long too mm -hmm. but yeah very happy with it he only ran i mean if you guys can see that up there it's like right there i thought i saw him fall down there, maybe 20 yards. But I guess he made it a little bit farther. What the heck is this? I don't know, I just, I just found that out. Raccoon or something. But, geez. That was a good hunt. A good night. I only sat in the stand for 15 minutes. Pretty nuts. Now I gotta figure out the task to drag this deer out of here before Dad comes back. Because he's going to get the truck. But, all right. I, I don't like this part. I 
So as I was saying, I have to flip it around. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you on the next one. And yeah, Matthew's tagged out in October. It's October 27th today. Shot my other deer, I don't know, October, what was it? Couldn't even tell you. But, boom, two deer in less than a week and a half. Man. Pretty cool. Just trying to take it all in. All right, we'll see ya.